Creality is one of the biggest names in the 3D printing industry, with one of the biggest varieties of 3D printers from beginners to advanced and everywhere in between. Creality is one of the most popular 3D printer companies that you can find out there. We are going to discuss today Creality's most popular 3D printer, the Creality Ender 3. Now the Ender 3 has a huge line of different models and we are going to discuss them in these upcoming videos. Here we are with the Ender 3 Neo. Now we do have all the new Ender 3s. We have the Neo, the V2 Neo, the S1. We have them all and today we are going to talk about the Ender 3 Neo and there will be other videos coming on all the new Ender 3s. But a lot of people is going to ask, why has Creality brought out another bunch of their most popular 3D printer? What is the difference? Why do I want this one over my original Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro? Let's talk about firstly, what is the same? Now, disappointingly, there is a lot that's still the same here. We still have the plastic extruder gears over here which I am very, very disappointed in because they do break. I've personally broken them. A lot of the guys here have broken them and a lot of customers break them over time. It would have been nice that if they're going the extra step for all the other stuff, if they just went a little bit further and put on the aluminum extruder gear, I think that would have been a lot more push to get this machine. Again, you're getting the more tidier wires than you are with this printer than other 3D printers, but it's still quite a big mess at the back. You definitely don't want to stare at the back of this printer for a long time. The motor's all the same, everything else is the same, the power, the power supply is the same, the filament roll holder is the same. We're still running on one lead screw over here. Same bed size, same temperatures. Why? Why do I want this machine? They have done some nice things here. First things first, right off the bat, that what you can see is that we have a whole new looking front over here and it does look nice. Little things like this to some people seems like a gimmick that oh, they're just changing the way something looks, but it is really important. It does look very, very nice. Also, it's nice with it also that you get getting a BL touch with it standard. That is really, really nice. Some people who struggle with bed leveling or, and I like to say it, lazy. <laughs> if you're too lazy to level a bed, you want to go for an auto bed leveling system, go for this guy. If you're a beginner and you really are intimidated about leveling a bed, you don't think that you can, you think it's going to be difficult to learn, first of all, it's really not. You guys can level a bed in a few minutes. There's lots of videos about that. There's even some videos on our social media about how to level a bed. But if you just want to make it easy on yourself, you don't want to struggle with something, go for it. An auto bed leveler is not a bad thing at all. It's just one more piece though that can break on a 3D printer. And that is why I personally don't like an auto bed leveling system. The last thing that we get that's obvious is we're getting a copper random glass this time with the machine. Now the Ender 3s usually came out only with that build mat or the magnetic one and then the new V2 came out with the copper random glass. I'm really glad that they brought it into this guy. It's nice to see. Lastly, something that's really important that has changed is underneath the bed over here, we're getting those yellow screws that hold the bed leveling system together. The yellow screws is one of the best upgrades you can do on your 3D printer if you have just the normal silver ones. The yellow screws are a lot more stiff and strong which lets your bed leveling last a bit longer. It's not going to make it that you don't have to level ever again but it's going to let you add about four to five more prints before you actually have to level it again. So that's really really nice to see. It's nice that they brought it out with that. Personally though, I would have liked to have seen instead of those springs, I really would have liked to see that aluminium extruder gear. It's just something that I really don't like. It's the only cheap thing on an Ender 3 
is this guy over here, and I'm very, very disappointed that we are staying in this kind of a direction here. In my opinion, Creality should just charge a little bit more for this guy over here and add that with the machine. It will be something that will push you to get it because it's gonna last you forever if you don't break it yourself. But aluminum is a lot stronger than plastic. All right, guys, as you can see, we do have one in front of you over here. And as you guessed, it is brand new. We've just assembled it for this video and to be displayed in our Centurion Branches shop front. I'm going to print on this guy for the first time. We're going to go simple. We're going to print just a benchy bench boat. Uh, we're going to see how this guy goes. How does it work right off the assembly? No tweaking, no setting changes. We're going to use just the assembly of the machine and we're going to use standard settings on Cura for PLA. Let's check out that guys.
guys, there you have it. It's actually printing really, really nice. I'm very happy to see this. It is an Ender 3. An Ender 3 is the most popular 3D printer for a reason. It's fantastic to work with. It's easy, it's simple, it's good for beginners, it's good for advanced. You can have a whole farm of them and you'll never need another printer ever again if you don't mind the bed size. Remember, you can slice files in pieces to print a large item in a couple of goes on this machine and you can glue it together afterwards. So the sizing is not the end of the world. I think it's a great size. It's bigger than some printers and it's definitely smaller than some, but it's right there in the middle and I'm very happy to see this. If you guys are interested in seeing the future videos about the Ender 3 line and what goes on with them, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you don't want to subscribe to a YouTube channel and you want short videos, us stress testing this guy, doing some fun stuff with it, go check out our social medias. They're linked down below. We have Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. It really is worth a while. We try and do a lot of fun stuff there. And if you have any questions, you can message us directly on those social media platforms and you speak to me. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next week.